How's it going, everyone? My name is Marcel Narona. I'm a sports psychologist. I work across multiple different sports with elite level athletes and developmental athletes as well. Some of the most recent clubs that I've been working with is the Guam national soccer team. I've worked with the Australian swim team, the Brisbane Broncos, the Raw, the Lions, the Queensland Academy of Sport, and the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Sports psychology can be a really broad field, but in essence, what we're trying to do is maximize performance when it counts. Anyone can look good in the training environment, but not everyone can pull out their best performance when it counts. I've been working in the sports psychology industry for the last 10 years, mostly focusing on performance psychology, but also mental health and well-being. After working at the highest levels of you know, multiple different sports, for the last 18 months, I've been working in really remote rural areas of Australia, working with disadvantaged youth, Aboriginal young people, and Torres Strait Islanders. The purpose of going into those rural communities and remote areas of Australia was to identify talent and help to promote and create pathways to high performance sport and give these kids some opportunities that they wouldn't usually have. What led me to sports psychology was the genuine curiosity around how human performance can be influenced by the mind and how our brains function. As a young person, I competed in boxing. I had multiple fights. And after a pretty brutal loss, I wasn't able to find that killer instinct again. I fought on seven more times and I lost every fight on points. I couldn't figure out why I couldn't perform on the night. During that period in my life, I think I became more curious about how the mind works and that's what led me into psychology and the philosophy around performance and how to maximize it. The dream was to become a sports psychologist. So I applied to the University of Queensland. I was fortunate enough to be accepted into the program and I completed my master's in sports psychology. I then started working in the field, working in team sports, individual sports, from elite level athletes to state, national, regional, and developmental. I'm passionate about providing this information to mixed martial artists because there is a real need to understand that the brain regulates your system. Your mind helps drive your behavior. It's actually something you can learn how to manipulate and use to your advantage to become more powerful, more resilient, more consistent, more dedicated, and also improve your enjoyment. I've always been genuinely fascinated around how the mind works. Different sports, different athletes of different shapes and sizes sometimes are able to dominate the game. Learning how your mind operates, learning how your brain functions can help you learn how to do that too. It's not a fluke, it's not something you're born with, it is something that you can learn, but it requires time, effort and persistence. Learning how your brain functions and learning how your mind operates is an essential fundamental base principle you need to become a complete combat athlete. You can have the greatest work ethic, you can train the house down, you can be consistent every day, but if you don't know how to produce the performance you need when it counts, all the work is for nothing. Learning how your brain functions and how your mind operates will give you the tools and the skills you need to maintain your composure when it counts. So you can train effectively and you can compete at your best. I'm passionate about providing this information on this platform that will usually only be available to elite level athletes at the pinnacle of their sport. Now you have access to similar tools, ideas, conceptual models of how your brain works, how your mind works, and being able to identify what you need to grow and compete and enjoy what you're doing.